What is going on, guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We are back continuing our World Cup series. Today, we are going up against Scotland to decide whether we can actually get out of the pool stages. Um, in terms of the fixtures as they've gone on, I mean, if you can see down the bottom there, our uh, we've got a green circle and a red circle. We had a great game against Georgia, uh, a draw against France last week. So it sees us uh, in pool C here. We are in second place on six points. So going into today's game, theoretically, theoretically, we can get away with having a draw and still qualify. A win is a win and a win would be great uh, but a draw will satisfy but Scotland are by no means a uh, an easy team to beat in terms of some of the other fixtures that have gone on them because it's nice to see how the rest of the tournament is shaking up England uh, dominates Tonga 48 points to 8 smash that game uh, Fiji beating Japan 32 points to 16 sees Fiji qualify over Japan um, in this year's World Cup in rugby 2022 um Italy losing to the Springboks. Oh, Christ. 49 to nil. Springboks just uh, taking no messing around in that one. And Australia having a tighter game than expected. 27 points to 22 against Samoa. Um, of course, we're going up against Scotland, but France having a pretty easy game against Georgia there. 40 points to 13. Um, in other news then, Ireland uh, beat Wales 26 points to, uh, to 20. Closer than uh, the, the Six Nations this year, felt like. Um, Argentina lose 12 points to 42. Hopefully we won't be seeing scores like that in the uh, in the Rogue Championship this year. But they've still got their final round to play off. But for them, it kind of feels like it's going to be between New Zealand and Ireland. Now, if the pool stages go correctly, as they should do in, uh, in rugby games, um, if you look down at the very bottom line here, uh, we're going to be the third one along. We're probably going to be the team coming second um, in Pool C and first team Pool D, uh, unless we do something incredible and get a, uh, a bonus point try against Scotland and they score nothing. <laughs> um, that's probably going to be us. So we're looking like we, we're going up against New Zealand or Ireland in our first knockout stage, uh, that's going to be a, a little bit brutal. Uh, last week then, we played France. Uh, we could have won. I'm not going to lie, we could have won, but a very silly mistake by myself and uh, a scrum half not having a great pass um, really sort of ruined it for us. Uh, Basca has struggled, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually just going to have a quick look to see who else is around in terms of our, uh, our other scrum halves. Uh, Asperger... Uh, Looks lower on a lot of other stuff. Do we have any other scrum halves? Doesn't look like it. It's pretty much uh, that dude. <laughs> that is the uh, the whole shebang. Um, I'm not going to lie. Ryan James came on, made a good impression last week. Um, I've also gone and looked up because I forgot to before the start of uh, the last video. Um, Will Maggi, as I have called him. I didn't know how to pronounce his name. I thought it was Will Maggi or Will uh, Maggi, uh, like magic. Um... It turns out his name is Will McGee. Uh, he's a, an actual guy. I uh, had a look for him. Of course, there's no photo to go alongside it, so I assume it's the guy I found <laughs> that plays for the USA. Uh, but the USA seem to have him noted down as a fly half as opposed to a winger. I don't know. I assume it's the same guy, but from now on, I will call him Will McGee. I say from now on because uh, we could lose to Scotland, get knocked out. This could be the end of the series. But we hope that is not the case, guys. We're going on to play Scotland. A 29% chance of a win. It's a better percentage chance than we had against France, and we saw how that one went. Let's get this game kicked off and underway. Alrighty, here we are then, guys. Scotland versus the USA. The game to potentially allow us to quarter finals. It's going to be a, uh, a super exciting one, this one. Right, so we can afford a draw. I mean, I don't want a draw, but uh, if it feels like it's going against us, a draw... Uh, might absolutely be the way we uh, we take it. Now, last uh, last week on the uh, in the France game, I really didn't use a lot of the uh, the set pieces. So I'm going to try and maybe use a few more of the set pieces for today's game. Um, it helps try and boost a bit more of the stamina back up. It also allows you to do some nice little inner working uh, sort of movements and try and find gaps in the defence. Scotland also need this one to be a win for them, so they're going to come hard for this one. Uh, one thing about Scotland is, of course, the wing. Is Darcy Graham on one wing? Do I have Van der Merwe on the other wing? <laughs> Can't really afford to let this ball go uh, go wide, but we'll try our best to keep that. In fact, I might set my defence slightly wider. I might even set my defence to the five bar just to try and mitigate those people. But there he is, Finn Russell, going to be leading from the front in today's game. Scotland will get us kicked off. 
Um, I'm going to go straight defensively for as wide as I can. That is a uh, lovely kickoff from him as Goff goes on the charge and gets absolutely clattered. Uh, right, let's set our attack to be four. And Dabulus will go for a cheeky little up and under. Gets tackled in the kick. So, unfortunately, we didn't make any ground there. That was a quick ruck by Scotland. Oh, that's a uh, cheeky uh, long pass there. It was flat as well. Wasn't expecting that one. Right. Oh, I could have maybe competed a bit more with that one. Just get an extra man over there. We do not want that going to Darcy Graham. Unchallenged. Oh, I ran for the interception. Didn't work for us. We've uh, marked numbers pretty well here. There could be a turnover. No. Scotland are working quickly. All right, let's get out on this wing. Support. Don't let Duan van der Merwe take any extra room around there. That is a good turnover. Right, boys. Peterson looks knackered already. What is going on, boy? Let's get out this ball out quickly. Dabulus nicely worked. Peterson! He's not tired enough as of yet. Dolan shifting it out wide. Can they keep going wide? A cruise. Little offload to Brash. Kicks it on. Can he beat? Stuart Hogg back. Does get the tackle, but the USA have made good room. Scotland Scotland are narrowing up here. They have all crammed underneath that post. We're going to try and shift it wide quickly as possible. Cruz gets it out to McGee. 101 with Stuart Hogg for the corner. What a try. What a superb try. That is what we wanted early on in this game. Get ourselves on the scoreboard. Put Scotland under pressure. Make them be the ones that have got to chase this game. What a superb piece of work from the USA, going for those long passes. Look how tight that Scotland defense was. They obviously expected to go through the fronts, missing out those passes. Great work by McGee out on that wing. What a lovely step. Sorry, it was around Darcy Graham. I think I said Stuart, uh, Duan van der Merwe when I was saying it, but got to one-on-one -on -one against Stuart Hogg as well and gets over for the try. We aren't scoring a lot of tries in this tournament, but McGee is absolutely the man that uh, is going to be doing the most of them, I suspect, through this tournament. Dabulis. Uh, with a lovely little uh, straight kick. Not been a lot of wind throughout this tournament as of yet. The, uh, the French Six Nations, uh, World Cup rather. <laughs> I'm talking about the wrong tournament now, but the World Cup obviously uh, not a breezy over there in uh, in France. We lose uh, the first ruck straight from that kickoff. So we're already back under the uh, under the pressure. But defensively, we look pretty sound uh, through that first set. Okay, a maul. We don't mind the mauls because the uh, the USA maul is, is a bit of a unit. Not going to lie. Here we go on the Scottish maul as well. Driving him back. Right, we are slightly outnumbered on this right-hand side. I'm going to run up. Yep, I saw that one coming. Darcy Graham. Oh, goes for the uh, the cheeky kick there. We'll take that. Savita, just take that in. Nice and easy. Right, Cruz is going to drop back in this pocket. I actually reckon we can run this. There we go. And again, Goff, get that ball out. And again, Dolan. Okay, we're going to get chased down there. McGee, just kick that down the field. Put them under some pressure. Stuart Hogg, stuck out towards the touchline. They're going to win that one. We'll just reset here. That's nice. Oh, Finn Russell with the big handoff. That's <laughs> Grant Gilchrist almost picking a beautiful line from the uh, from the lock there. Oh, they're getting through the tackles now. Okay, this is why it is useful to score early on. I absolutely cannot guarantee that uh, Scotland will not score in... Oh, it's a massive hit! <laughs> oh, dear. Brash, what are you doing? I was expecting him to just take the ankles. Uh, but we've had a, uh, a bit of a dangerous tackle there. That's not good. Right, we have a yellow card against us. First scrum. First scrum of the game. Uh, we've now got to hold on for 10 minutes with 14 men. What could be easier? What could be easier? Come on, USA. Right. Time to show some resilience. The one thing I said in the build-up to this game, I do not want that ball to get out to the wings and then be completely unchallenged. And now I literally don't have a winger to cover. Come on, this is a good scrum. I don't know how they're winning these. I feel like I'm doing pretty well. No, it's about to go against us now. Right, they will exit. Oh, look at the space out there for Darcy Gray. We need to shut this down. Ali Price has obviously had some sort of <laughs> terrible head injury throughout this game. I don't know. What that pass was. I don't know where he's going. Isn't Rugby 22 a brilliant game? Right. Our scrum. Uh, at least we wasted a bit of time, I guess. That's probably one of the positives. A bit more of the uh, the yellow card goal. We've actually taken a good quarter of this yellow card off now. Right. Let's just pop this one in. We want this back out of the scrum as fast as possible. We're going to run with Basker. Just see if we can get a couple of extra meters. It's about time wasting more than anything. We've actually uh, maybe okay to go a little bit wider here. Nope. 
Guanu takes it in a little bit further. I don't know where my uh, my hook is running off to there. He's run into the Scottish line. Dabulis, no! Get the pass away, boy. Okay, we managed to recover. Let's see if we can go wide here. Cruz, somehow, even with a man down, we've made up a bit of room there. Oh, terrible kick, though, by McGee. I even tried to drag that back in the wind uh, a little bit too much. They look like they're going to the front here. That's fine. All of this is good time wasting. All of this is not time <laughs> for them to be attacking. And slowly this yellow card is wearing down. Let's go to the right. Dabulis tackled again. Man, the uh, the USA setup to just leave the fly halves for dead is uh, not good at all. Okay, this is what we don't want. Get the tackle on him. Do not let him through. Okay, we also need to support out on this wing. Get back over there. Our player has come back on. Yellow card over and a good tackle. Oh, but somehow the referee misses the knock on. What a tackle by Dyer in the back as Matt Bagerson tries to go himself. Oh, what a turnover. It's absolutely superb. They go for a ridiculous pass. <laughs> I wanted it to go one man inside. They've thrown it back. We're now on a defensive scrum. This is going to be tough to stop. Here we go. Big scrum, boys. If you ever needed a scrum in this tournament to go back our way, this is the one. Come on. In it goes. We need a big scrum here. That's a good start. Come on. USA, put it back. Okay. Get this off the park. Barely. <laughs> Certainly would have liked it to have been a bit more off the park, but what a first half. We got put under the pressure a lot at different times. We survived a yellow card and we have scored a actually well-worked try. We got up the field, we saw the space and we were able to utilize it. Um, in terms of the team management then, um, everyone's fatigue looking relatively good. Dabulus struggling for me. In fact, I'm going to make a halftime sub here. I'm going to put on Carty. Let's give him a go. Uh, I feel like I was a bit harsh on him. Let's uh, put him on. Um, and I am going to put James on this uh, on this wing as well, because if we get another yellow card, good God, we're in desperate trouble. We'll make two subs at halftime. Um, just keep that team fresh. We can't afford another yellow card and have a red card. Um, and Carty to come on. Theoretically, our number one fly half. Uh, as he kicks it completely dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They either kick it way too short or way too long. Okay, another scrum. Same again, boys. The last scrum was a very good one, to be fair. The Scottish scrum actually hasn't been brilliant. Uh, currently, the, the sort of super physical areas of the game, the mauling, the scrummaging, has actually been going our way a little bit more than I uh, expected it to. So, okay, not that one. That one didn't. Uh, oh, and still going this way. Okay, get ready for the pickup because Ali Price is getting ready to shift it. Okay, the Gregor Townsend's clearly had a, a, a bit of a mega word with them at half time because uh, I'm struggling to do anything there. Right, get across for that tackle. Good hit on Ali Price. Put him under pressure. Get more coverage on this left hand side because Darcy Graham. Oh, what a tackle on Darcy Graham. A hard man to stop. He's such a slippery character, but well worked there by McGee on the right wing. Guerra taking it in, gets taken to ground. Man, I am struggling to make any sort of ground here. Right, Peterson to Cruz, to Dolan. Oh, Dolan playing it dangerously. James did well to recover there. We're probably going to lose the ball. I'm going to shift out wide here. Yeah, I could see Duan van der Merwe screaming for that one on the wing. Oh, I don't know how they won that ref. Pretty sure there's got to have been hands in the ruck. Oh, Finn Russell again, charging through some good tackles. He's doing very well today as Ali Price decides to go himself as well. The hole, in, in fact, I'm going to swap my defense to narrow up a bit because they are certainly finding room. Oh, no, no one's outside for Darcy Graham. <laughs> oh. Scotland go over for a try. Oh man, like a, like some sort of accordion. We uh, we got stretched too wide, so they made room up the middle. Then there was too many gaps in the middle. So I decided to switch the team to go uh, a little bit tighter. And somehow a lock finds himself up against Darcy Graham. Dyer completely out of position from the, uh, the earlier breakthrough. Scotland making the most of it. Making me run around this park. And Finn Russell uh, to see if he can get this kick over. And does nice and easily. Seven all. The draw <laughs> is still on, guys. Right, Carty. Put it over there. But actually keep it in. That's better. Right, right on the corner. That's where we wanted it. That's better. Okay. Forward pass. Scrum time. In and out. I'm going to hope my number eight's actually going to pick up the ball. We've had, we've had issues. I mean, in the past, with the, uh, the number eight's picking up the ball and not doing what I want them to. 
I want him to pick up this ball from the back of the scrum and charge forward. Here we go. That's better. Okay, now we've made a bit of an extra man. Campbell to run across the park to Cruz, dragging in the defender on the wing. It's a one-on-one -on -one chase. Oh, Darcy Graham slipping through, but well driven into touch. Um, I'm going to hold off on the subs till the end of this next piece of, uh, of play. I definitely think they need to be coming on sooner rather than later. Right, Basker on to Carty. Good handoff. Drives through. Back up towards that 22. And Scotland just swarm that ruck. Oh, referee. Questionable forward pass there. Right, let's use some of these set... Uh, of my set plays have reset. Have they? Didn't I pick these ones to be different ones? Right, screw it. We're going for rugby league. I love rugby 22. Nothing like some extra glitches just to make this a bit more difficult. Right, let's go out the back here. Round to Cruz, taking it on a little bit further now. Okay, we're not going to go to the uh, to the right. Let's shift back to the left. Guerra goes through. McGee with a lovely little dodge should be able to still get over that. Not getting anywhere there again. Let's go for another rugby league. I'm going to play this one uh, a little bit tighter. I'm going to let uh, Carty drop this one straight off here into Dyer's line who's going to charge through the middle gets through a couple of nice tackles right all of this is about making those extra men on the wing as Cruz oh couldn't get the ball away we do have two people there we should have numbers out on this wing if Waldron can get a good pass oh unfortunately uh, maybe passed a little bit too early can we get in there we don't and Scotland recover and we actually look a little bit short manned here Grant Gilchrist again uh, he has, has been a bit of a unit today for Scotland. He certainly found himself in uh, a bit of open space in that midfield. I'm going to cover this side. I don't trust this at all. That's fine. We don't want Hamish Watson getting through there. If we can pick up the ball, anyone. <laughs> they all stood there and watched it. Oh, I don't know whether this was the right move. McGee, kick it on a little bit further. Try and push them back. I didn't mean to go right. It was the wrong call by me. Okay, we've moved a little bit more in. Let's go for Rugby League. I actually just want to try and get this towards the center of the pitch. So we're going to go. Uh, what are we doing? Right, left, right, I think is the way to, uh, to get this over. McGee, pop off to Campbell. Okay, we found ourselves in the middle of the pitch. We're going to drop Carty back. Here comes the drop goal. Opportunity. No, doesn't come for us. Okay, we're going to swap it back to going through the forwards once more. Two tacklers on Dolan. Scotland get the turnover. The World Cup potentially slipping away. Grant Gilchrist again. The man trying to stop it. Oh, they've gone back left. I feel like they actually had room on the uh, on the right-hand side. That might have been the wrong call. I haven't made any of the subs that I wanted to. Maybe I should have. As Duane who takes it. And now USA potentially on the charge. McGee kicks it on. Oh, I thought there was no fullback. Stuart Hogg lurking in the shadows. Might have just saved that from being a loss. For Scotland, Ali Price with the giant call to kick this one away. The clock isn't dead. We've got to play on. We're going wide. Dolan. Oh, the forward pass to Waldron. But it is a draw. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Scotland celebrating. I don't know why Scotland is celebrating. <laughs> I'm hoping I haven't done my maths terribly wrong here. Uh, because I feel like a draw was all we needed, if I'm correct. Uh... Scotland seem to be celebrating. Maybe someone needs to uh, talk to them about the math. Seven all a piece. Not the win we wanted. A superb try by Darcy Graham. Uh, not letting us get away with uh, with an easy win. And a drop goal attempt could have been what could have been. But seven all, the final score. And there we have it, guys. So <laughs> it was certainly tighter than we expected to be. But we have moved on. We are now up against New Zealand. You can actually see down the bottom here. It does actually say we had one green and two red. So it classes uh, a draw as a loss, uh, which is a strange. Um, in terms of uh, the rest of the standings then, because I'm sure everyone's uh, very interested. So uh, England topped their group on three wins from three. South Africa topped their group on three wins from three. Uh, France topped our group on uh, two wins from three of course that one draw versus as they finished on 10 points we finished on eight points due to two draws in our uh, our pool just ahead of scotland sorry to all the uh, the scotland fans out there on their one win one loss one draw finishing on six and georgia unfortunately down there on uh, one point which they actually got against us <laughs> because they had the losing bonus point against us and then finally in the group of death new zealand win their group three of three absolutely dominating their uh, their pool against some uh, some tough opponents. Ireland uh, finished second on eight points 
Um, only one point away from Wales. Wales nearly scraped by there and actually got out of the uh, the qualification stages. So Wales finished in third, Argentina in fourth. Um, in terms of the knockout stages then, it is France versus Ireland. They've already played their first game. Ireland have won that one, so they'll be proceeding forwards. Um, Springboks versus Fiji. Uh, it, you can't see the Fiji score. <laughs> It just says 49 points to uh, to Springboks. We're going to take it. If they scored 49, they won. We are, of course, the third one. All Blacks versus USA. If you ever wanted to come back for a video, it's going to be the next one. And then finally, England go on to play the Wallabies for a, uh, a certain World Cup final that some of you may have heard of. Uh, they get to replay it in the quarterfinals for this one. If you enjoyed this one today, guys, make sure to leave this video a like and to keep up to date with the rest of the series along with some other rugby gaming news. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye-bye.